Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Microsoft Teams video, I'm going to explain how to organize your teams and channels. I'll tell you what you can do and also tell you what you can't do. Let's go ahead and dive in right now. So I have teams running over on the sidebar or the navigation bar on the left. I've got five teams set up. Let's just talk about how to organize them. So first of all, one item you can do is with your teams, you can collapse and expand your teams as I'm doing right now for department finance. I just collapsed it. I just expanded it and I'm going to collapse department product team. So there's an easy one. You can collapse and expand. Question I get asked all the time, and you should know this, is when you set up a team, you always get the general channel. Always. After that, you can create additional channels, as I did with finance right here, and as I also did with human resources. The general channel is always the first channel. It cannot be anywhere else. I get that question all the time. Another question is, can I rearrange the channels after general? The answer is no. You cannot rearrange your channels. Now, one thing you can do, though, is rearrange the teams. I have finance as the first team. I'm making this up. I want it to be the last team on my screen. I can just drag it and drop it at the bottom. It doesn't matter whether it was collapsed or expanded when I do the drag and drop. I'm going to take accounting and make it the first team. So you can rearrange your teams. You can't rearrange the channels in the team. Another cool feature is you can, right now it says your teams, you can pin channels. Let's say that I work in the accounts receivable department in finance. There are the three dots for this channel. If I click it, pin, that channel is going to show up up at the very top. I've got a new section called pinned, which you can collapse and expand that section to. It is smart enough to put the channel name, but it also puts the team name below it, Department Finance. And the reason that is, in case I decide to go and pin the general channel from accounting and the general channel from Human Resources or HR, I've got two general channels, but they're from different teams. That is why the name of the team shows up underneath the channel. You can also unpin right there, just so you know that. You can hide a channel. So here is a great example of that. Let's say now that I'm working in human resources, but I handle, I need to see the general channel. By the way, you can't, little tip, you can't hide the general channel. But I handle onboarding and I deal with recruitment. I don't deal with benefits. So I can come and hide the benefits channel inside of that team, click off of it, <laughs> and now it says one hidden channel. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I can always unhide a channel, by the way. Show. Cool little tip, if you hide a channel and someone at mentions you, It'll show that number by that channel so you know to go and click on that channel at least. Cool tip right there. All right, so there's a uh, hide channel, unhide channel. You can hide teams. I'm a member of, I'm making this up, I'm a member of this project, PROJ is what I named it, website and videos, but I don't really do a lot with it, so I don't want to see it right now. So you can hide an entire team. So if I'm going to collapse a couple here, you have a new section or a new group, the same way I have a new group called pinned. I've got a new section called hidden teams and I can collapse this. So any team that I don't want to see is sitting under hidden teams. Again, this is just keeping you, keeping your teams and channels organized. Again, if you don't want to hide the team, I want to see it again, just go and hit show. So you can unhide the, you can hide the team and you can unhide the team. Same thing you can do with your channels. 
few quick tips I have for you. So I'm going to call these Chris Menard tips, and there's four of them. In a perfect world, don't make too many teams. We've already discussed this in another video. Only make a team if you really need that team. Also, don't make too many channels. You're always going to get the general channel. Sometimes the general channel is all you need in the team. So sometimes people go overboard making way too many channels inside of a team. If you're going to invite someone to a team, I'm under accounting. Manage team is right here or add member even. I can go here and I can add a member because I'm a, um, I've got permissions to do it. If I start adding someone, they're going to get an email and say they've been added to the team. My point about that is make sure someone knows why they're being added to a team. Either send them a chat first or send them an email and saying I'm adding you to a team and I'm an owner of this team. That's why I can add people right here. One more tip is use at mentions if you need an answer from someone. So if you recall, I hid department human resources, but the channel benefits. So this is, I just discussed this, but I actually want to prove it to you. Carol comes in here and Carol types in hello for that channel. Now I do not get notified about it. Notice it still says one hidden channel over there on the left. And I know you can't see Carol typing, but you can, but trust me, she's typing over here. I'm Carol in this example. But now Carol does an at mention to me and she writes, did you get the Excel file? Now take a look. My activity feed has the number one. My teams has an at mention symbol. And in here, there's benefits and notice it's in bold, even though that channel's hidden. So I mentioned this a second ago, but I thought I would actually show that. So I can click here. Carol says, hey, did you get the Excel file? So that tells me I may want to go and show this channel now. Thank you. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, my Microsoft Teams full-blown training class, which has two hours of material now. We've added a lot of material to it, is available. There's a link down below if you're interested in that. It is still 50% off. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.